he was here for four years. He has information about how basically Manchester City maybe do the same kind of fouls and time wasting and everything that Arsenal um, did against your team. So what do you think about that? Because he's your friend, he was your assistant. Seems a little bit of a betrayal of, I don't know, trust or information. Did he say that? Yeah. What did he say so specifically? I was, there, I was there for four years. Yeah, you're right. And? Well, it was, like, it was, it was to a question about his tactics and the time wasting, the sort of files. The implication was, he didn't actually say these words, but the implication was, yeah, I've been there for four years and, you know, I know what goes on there. The same. Well, next time, Miguel has to be more clear. May I ask you then, you, you're not aware of him saying that at all? No, next time has to be more clear exactly what does it mean. What he said, he was here for years and, and uh, we know exactly what happened here. So, because it can be related in, you know, in uh, all the process now with 155 charges, maybe it's about that, you know, the information about that maybe, or maybe had something like, I don't know, because uh, really next time I have to see more clear well, exactly this is kind what of the happened. Point. I, think he, I think he said it in this way on purpose. I think he, he left it hanging to sort of cause people to think, oh, what does he mean? And maybe cause you a, you know. Okay, next time, like a good relation I have with him, hopefully this question has been asked. He can answer exactly what does it mean, what I said, he was here, and I know what's happening here, and, uh, and there's still to be clouds there, to be more precise. And that's the... No, 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 because we spoke with text after the game, and that's all. Um, Pep, just, uh, just back on Rodri, you've had some big injuries before in your in your time here, and you've you've always managed to find solutions. Um, obviously, memorably, I think in the eighteen nineteen season, you lost Fernandino for maybe most of the last three months, and Gundogan came in there. It was great. You won the last final fourteen Premier League games. Kevin five months last season, Harlan two, lots of other seasons. Aguero. Do do you feel though, with Rodri out for pretty, for the whole season early on? The, the, this is maybe going to be your biggest challenge in terms of finding a solution to a major injury to a key player in the, in the seven years you've had a... Everybody, everybody knows, even our opponents, how happy they are. Uh, everybody knows in the mindset, not realise that Rod is part of the fundamental for many, many things and many processes. That is the truth. But we, what can we do? We complain and say, I'm so sorry. When Rodi comes back, we start to fight again. I have to find a solution as a team. Me as a manager to the players, OK, this is important players, otherwise we have not played them. A thousand million minutes that, you know, played and consistent, you know, is recovering and whatever. So, but we have to move forward, move on. So, um, we cannot, so when we lose it's because we have to find a way. And we are going to find a way. I'm so optimistic of myself and my team and we are going to find a way. That's for sure. We're going to to knowing that this is an important player, but as you said, Fernandinho was in that time and Sergio was born in many times, of Kevin had been out many times. Kevin was one year injured. Almost six, seven months. A lot of time injured, 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 injured. And he didn't play much and we won again. So yeah, we had to find a way. We had to find a way to to do it because the team is good, the players are extraordinary in terms of, of mindset and and, and togetherness, and we are going to try to do it. And do you think it's quite important that over the next few weeks, especially, you show you can cope? Because oppo oppo I mean, opponents opponents might look and see no Rodri, yeah, and that play. gives them a big, big lift. No, I understand. But, yeah, for the opponents, I understand that. Uh, but we play four games this season without him, and we want it. And uh, and of course, it's important. But even we won a lot of games, we will be missed. We will be missed, but. We have to try to do it, and when we lose a game, okay, so we'll not be specific for Rodri. Rodri is replaceable for that. We have something that is difficult to find, but not here in all around the world. So you said, okay, Pep, you have money to buy a player like Rodri. It's not in the market. <laughs> this, this is really, really good, but it's what it is. I'm so sad for him because he don't. Nobody deserves it. He, he neither. But it's what it is. I do. Hopefully, surgery went well and. Time recovery and and with the players that we have, because this is the challenge, you know. At the end, that team needs this type of challenge. The opponents, I said the last press conference, so we we don't expect everything will be smooth and comfortable and easy for everyone. 
there is no team that was more beaten than us here in England. So we felt it, we smell it that uh, mm, again city. Mm. They don't like them, you know, at all. So we respect that, okay. So without the problem, okay, but let's go, let's let's try it. Hi Pat, is uh, Erling all right for this weekend after yeah. going away this week? And um, he was pretty fired up against Arsenal on on Sunday. Um, did you like that that extra side of him? I would say that sometimes the emotions are so there when you are, you know. Garia said perfectly in the press conference. So after the match, so this is a war. We have here to provoke the opponent, to push them, and at the end, what can you do? So we have to, okay, you provoke me, okay, I'm there. You want a war? Now we war. So what that to do? And after the motions are the motions. So I'm pretty sure he's not proud. But listen, the type of challenge that Arsenal challenges, I understand it. Hey, but, um when you have such a, a, a big blow to, to a key player, I know it's obviously personally very, very sad for, for Rodri, but does it affect the morale of the overall group to lose someone so key for, for such a long time? And does it also yeah, affect your morale? I would ask her. You know the morale when Oscar was injured in the preseason. Of course, Rodri is another step for what happened in these years. But when one guy is injured, we are so sad. But at the end, he knows we are there now. We'll be a long time in Madrid with family recovery there, with the doctors, officials there. When we come back here, with our one upper arms, we will be more than you know. We'll give him more than welcome to come back to us. But yeah, and after that, you have to okay, what for game? We have to play, you know. And now Newcastle, we're going to Champions League, and after uh, Fulham home, and yeah, and after we see what happens. Because obviously, it's one thing dealing with the. Rodri missing the game in a, in a physical sense, what he brings to a team. But how do you, how do you lift a dressing room that are having to deal with one of their key players? We have a huge nervous. personalities in the dressing room, and Rodri is one of them by far. But another qualities, and every, every, everyone had to make a step forward. You know, when you have this type of players, step forward to to do more. It's is what it is. It's, everybody knows impo how important it is, how important Rodri is for us. Everybody knows it. So that means we have to do extra, you know, to replace uh, this absence for a long, long time. Pep, you were talking about the um, about January earlier. Is how difficult is it going to be to find someone that is like for like that can play in that position? Because it, it seems like the club have been looking for two years. Jack, right now, I'm not thinking to find anyone. But the scouting of the department from Chiki, of course, they are always connected. To the players, but we are um, nine men. I don't find it, this team. But that I said, so the January have time, and maybe the situation. So I feel we need something, and maybe the opportunity is possible, not possible, and we will take a decision. So, so we rather fit. We'll not absolutely think about that. But now we see. Now I don't, I'm not able to take a, a decision right now. First, because it's not possible to do it, and second, because I want to see my team how we react all together. Do you think it's sort of long term towards, you know, as we get into January, February, later on in the season, it's more likely that one of the existing players, someone like Bernardo Silva maybe, alters his position on a more permanent basis if you were to play sort of two in midfield? I have I have solutions. That players can play in that position. Can play. Ah, there's a long ball, she's present to win the ball, the transitions offensive, defensive is the best. So we cannot I said to the Lombos, Rodri win now, we're going to lose. Lose, 10 to 10. With Jolinton tomorrow, we're going to lose. But it's not the problem. As much are far away and ready for the second big of Jolinton, we'll recover maybe four, five, six seconds later. Yeah, but this is what it is. We have to adapt with the players that we have. And the other ones, they give us something and maybe Rodri don't have, you know? Or maybe one cannot do it, we'll put two players. Maybe we'll help, you know, to do the process what they had to do. And that, when's going to happen? When I'm going to see game, my game, my game, and see mm -mm, what happened. Maybe we'll be late because we're going to lose a lot of games. I don't know. But at the end, we are yeah five fixtures we're playing, no? five games. No, we played five games already, no? In Premier League? Yeah. Is uh, still 33, right? Yeah? 
So in three left games, 99 points. So a lot of things going to happen. Pep, obviously it's a, a very serious injury for Rodri. Like you said, I, I presume you've spoken to him this week and how, how is he feeling? Well, I spoke with him before, yeah, two days ago, before Watford. And yeah, it was a bit sad, but in the same time, okay, we're going to do it. Uh, it's happened. And what I said, when a game like in Arsenal, in Arsenal game and he make the gesture, you know, to go out, knowing Rodri that had to be something dangerous, otherwise he's stubborn. He would have stayed in the pitch. So when he went out, it's because he felt something that just the players felt it. Always were optimistic that the fact, okay, will be maybe less, but unfortunately it was the worst. And, and yeah, go on. You spoke a little bit about Rico uh, Lewis earlier, stepping into that position. Obviously, he's played a number of positions for you. What does that say about his intelligence that he can, you know, play in that sitting role as well as play at full back? Never played as a alone, but alongside to yeah, one always play good and in positions more advanced, like attacking midfielder pocket, it's one of the best that we have and and so far. So except Arsenal game a few more games he played in forty five minutes seconds against Brentford, uh, play all the minutes and always have been the best. So that's why I say no, the replacement for Rodri Rico, no. <laughs> it's impossible. But he gave us something alongside to Kova, or alongside to, to John, to Manu, with Gundo. At the end, we can do things that maybe maybe can work. We see. Last two guys, one extra summer, Michael, please. Hi, Pep. Have the players done the vote for the captaincy yet? And if so, could you tell us who's in the. Yeah, the Kyle is the captain, vice captain uh, uh, Kevin, uh, Ruben Rodri. Bernardo Gundo. So six players. Yeah, because it was tight. It was too tight. You're going to end up with 11. No, for me it doesn't matter. As much as much they have, less problems we will have. Um, back on the injuries, you, you've had three pretty significant injuries already this season. Obviously Nathan, Oscar and now Rodri. You, didn't, you haven't had many injuries over the last couple of years. And we've spoken a lot about the number of games, the impact on the players. Do you think this is already a sign of the number of games players have had in the last couple of years? It's not a muscular injury, like maybe this one is maybe my concern. This is the trauma from 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 Oscar and the trauma in Rodriguez. You know, it depends because of the fatigue, for the tired. For Oscar was not tired. You know that is an action within the training session. So I would say more is unlucky, but. Uh, but yeah, I think all the clubs, you know, in general have a lot. But yeah, it's what it is. So we accept that and go. Thank you, guys. Yeah.